Hi everyone, I am Akshay and welcome to my channel Gacha Gaming. So version 4.7 live stream just ended and we got a lot of information. And when I say a lot of, I literally mean a lot of information. We were introduced to three new characters, many new events that will be taking in place or in 4.7, new gameplay changes and gameplay mechanisms. We are already getting a new abyss or a new end game content. So in this video, I am going to be giving a brief summary of uh, what happened in the 4.7 live stream and what are all the details that we will be getting in 4.7. I will creating a separate video for explaining all of them. But as per for now, I am just providing a summary. So starting with we get uh, the details and the kit of Chlorine, a new upcoming five star character who will be an Electro Sword user. As per for her kit, she will deal normal physical damage in her normal attacks and with her elemental skill she will go into a combat knight state in which her normal attacks will deal high aoe attack and gain bond of life using pistol and if you use her elemental skill at that time it will decrease the bond of life and will also do a aoe electro damage but the higher the bond of life is the higher will be the attack multiplier of elemental skill but lower the bond of life the higher will be the attack on her normal attacks after using her skill with her elemental burst she will do a aoe attack and also gain a certain bond of life percentage according to her maximum hp also when bond of life changes she will have a uh, increase in her crit rate due to one of her passive talents and also she will be beneficial in exploration as she will be providing locations of fountain regional resources on the map secondly we saw the release of sea queen a hydro bow user who will on cleansing bol from herself she will get er so her mechanism is also based on er so whenever you hold her skill she will leave a bubble and uh, the more you hold the elemental skill the larger will be the size of the bubble and uh, whenever the bubble hits an enemy it will do a certain amount of damage and also heal your entire party except sea queen so the bigger the bubble is the higher the attack and the higher she will heal as per for the healing of sea queen whenever her last bubble burst or explodes that will heal sea queen and give her a certain amount of bond of life and clearing that bond of life will give her extended elemental energy upon activating her elemental burst you can use her attacks to constantly deal hydro attack damage like just like nubilet does but instead she uses a syringe to hit some sort of continuous hydro attacks as per for her exploration talent she heals the characters in water in her team whenever they are attacked by enemy in the water or in the fountain waters nextly we got the kit and release of sathos he is supposed to be a electro bow user and a four star character his charged attack will have two levels so when you lose uh, when you use his charged attack to level 2 he will do a high electro damage as also upon using his elemental skill he will consume a certain amount of his elemental energy but that will remove any countdown for his star shots and and when you use his elemental skill again after using the elementals you will have an extended elemental energy or elemental recharge he will also do a certain amount of electro damage upon using elemental burst he will enter the twilight meditation state on which his attack will be based on his em and will scale attack on his em as well also his another passive states that his skill damage will be based on or can be his another passive effect states that upon using his skill his attack or damage will be increased based on the elemental mastery he have also we get information regarding the next arcan quest or we must say the dance leaf quest named as an everlasting dream intertwined also known as the bad time story In this Arkan quest we will be introduced to Kanria's deeper past and uh, main character will also be getting some dialogue lines and also during this quest we can see Aether and Lumine meaning the siblings will become face to face also the loom of face has been completed so we might have a chance to meet Caribert in the 
upcoming Arkan Quest. The upcoming banners for 4.7 were also con confirmed. We will be getting Chlorine and Alethum in the first half, and we will be getting Siegwin and Furina in the second half. We will also be getting three new weapons: Absolution, a new sword, and a bow. Those both will be four five stars, and we will also getting a four star that will be corresponding and signature weapons to Chlorine, Siegwin, and Sathos. In version 4.7, we will also get a new endgame content known as Imaginarium. It will be a secret place in the Monstered Library and people who are adventure rank 35 and higher can access it. And uh, while entering the library and the secret room, we will be meet up with a concierge known as Wolfie who will explain us all the rules about the Imaginarium. So for the basics of Imaginarium, we will have a combat system in which we could use some trial characters that we can only use for a certain period of time in the Imaginarium combat but also uh, buffs that will be provided to the character in the Imaginarium will also be effective outside of the Imaginarium as well. The changes that were made to the gameplay mechanisms were that well those who were above AR40 already knows that Genshin has a mechanism in which after completing the AR40 you can complete your daily commissions without actually doing them. All you need to do is complete some quest or open some chests or uh, take part in some events and doing that you can claim your daily commissions without ever doing that. So in the version 4.7 Genshin has reduced the eligibility rank from AR40 to actually AR24. So you can also complete your daily commissions at an earlier adventure rank. Also the another change was made that the total amount of resins was that was initially 160 resins per day has been increased to 200 resins at a same time so these were all the changes and the new additions that were made to the game in the version 4.7 well i will be creating detailed explanation videos about all the major topics that were covered in this video so if you want to stay connected with them subscribe to the channel and like share and comment on this video and until the next video and the next time have a great time guys bye bye